the computer architecture tutorial. In the previous part, we modeled the following assembly code or the following pipeline model of the assembly code, taking into consideration the row hazards. So that took 19 clock cycles to complete. How could we achieve a much more uh, fast, the, a faster, a faster implementation of the code that takes less clock cycles with just rearranging the code. This is actually called the code rescheduling. In most of the times, this is the function of the compiler. It, in, in, it, its, its function is to uh, uh, rearrange re the code to find better. Uh, implementation or better arrangement in order to provide less clock cycles of execution of the code. So let's start by uh, uh, remembering the data dependencies we had. We had mainly a problem here from I0 to I1, from I3 to I4, from I4 to I5. So how could we avoid that? First of all, the R2 register is it's the first time to see it here. So we can take the load word instruction upwards without causing any problems. Uh, we could make it uh, the first instruction, but putting it here would uh, provide us with the clock cycle difference between I0 and I1, which would uh, allow the value to be uh, bridged from or bypassed from I0 to I1 without stalls, as if we put the stall as an instruction to be executed. So, between I0 and I1, we've put I3. This has solved the problem of true data dependencies, uh, of, of, of true data dependencies causing the stall between I1 and I0, and the problem between I4 and I3 as well. So we still have the problem between I4 and I5. How could we uh, uh, reach uh, a better uh, implementation for that problem? So let's see. Here we only need R2. We only need R2. When will be R2 uh, available? It will be available in the execute stage of this instruction. So we can take this one step upward. So um, here we have I, we, we have arranged the code to be I0, I3, I1, I4, I2, I5, I6, I7, and I8. Uh, we could do nothing with the branch uh, operation because it takes one delay slot uh, wherever is uh, the branch instruction. So we came to a conclusion that we can rearrange the code without affecting the uh, execution uh, sequence uh, uh, in order to pro take better uh, clock cycles or better uh, 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 a, a better implementation of the uh, code that would actually take um, like 14 clock cycles or uh, 14 clock cycles uh, 13 natural ones with an additional one for the branch uh, uh, instruction or additional delay for the branch instruction Thank you. If you have any comments, please leave it at the end of the video.